and welcome to Fact Off. I'm Tony Sands. My guests today for the first, possibly the last show, are MJ Dixon and Mac McFadden. Um, MJ, you're a filmmaker. Do you want to introduce yourself just quickly? Hello, I'm MJ. I'm a filmmaker. <laughs> <laughs> and in the other corner, we have Mac McFadden, who's an actor, comedian, Mac. Hello, I'm Matt McFadden, I'm an actor, comedian. I haven't got a dinosaur, but I've got a dinosaur's egg. Oh, there we go. That's good. I've got more. I've got loads of them here. Look, I'm in Tesco's. No, I'm not. That's awesome, man. Dinosaur well, the, dinos eggs. the dinosaur is because I didn't have a hat to wear, you see. So I was like, oh, well, I've got to ha I better have something. <laughs> this is the this first thing I put my hand on. This is there we go. Look at them. Oh, oh. Right, OK, before we start going on, the idea of the show is to um i'm going to ask three questions each fact off three three film related questions each to to the guys um i might even keep score we'll see how it goes and then at the end we'll we'll throw a couple of facts in to see well just for the fuck of it why not why not it's the yeah. first show i don't know how yeah. it's going to work i don't know what the fuck i'm doing but anyway right mac first question your way yeah you ready yeah. yeah. Yeah, good, right. Directed by Steven Spielberg, a 1975 film about a man-eating great white shark marked the dawn of the blockbuster. What is the title of that film? Is it my first answer? Can I... So it's not Dave, the, uh, the violent shark. It's not uh, Susan, the slightly bitey dolphin. Although that's um, a really good film. That was a it really would be, good It would be a really good film, uh, but I'll go for Jaws. Jaws is... Which actually petrified me. When I was a kid, I'm not lying, I watched that and I got such an active imagination that I wouldn't get out of bed in case somebody had dumped a shark into my bedroom. I used to make my brother get up in the dark before I went for a wee. And when I watch the film now, Jaws actually looks like a plastic bag with teeth drawn on it. Well, that's um, an interesting one. We're going to come to that later. Okay. Uh, about the shark. Right, MJ, your question. Still on Jaws. How many sequels followed? Oh, three. Three, good. Can you name them? I so can. It's Jaws, <laughs> Jaws, Jaws 2, Jaws 3D, yeah. and Jaws the Revenge. The man, yeah. And they just got wow. better and better, didn't they? Uh, yes. <laughs> if we live in opposite worlds. Uh, <laughs> can we in the last one, he became recyclable. <laughs> in the last one, he was just defeated by them, uh, be them rings you have on beer cans. He was just stuck in one of them, like, ah, oh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine if that was the actual film? What a fucking cracking film to see. All right, Mac, back to you. Um, Jaws was the highest grossing film of all time for two years, when in 1977, a sci-fi movie took the number one spot. What was that film? Well, it wasn't Star Trek Goes to Monte Carlo. Nope. Um, it wasn't um, Space Invaders Go to Kerwin Island. Um, then I would guess it must yeah, kind of be Star Wars. It was Star Wars, yeah. Notice I get the easy ones because I'm rubbish at films. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the luck of the draw. It's just the luck of the draw. Um, right, MJ. Three years later, a sequel followed Star Wars. What was that called? Uh, do, do you want some fake answers first? Uh, whatever you want, man. Uh, it was called uh, Kevin's Magical Adventures in Space 2. No, <laughs> I don't think that was it. Uh, no, I think it might have been um, The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? And MJ, you're getting the slightly more challenging questions. That's the, that's the sad bit of it. <laughs> um, right, Mac? Back to you. It's two two at the moment. It's it's on the edge. It's on a knife edge. My challenging question is, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> I look blankly sometimes. When people <laughs> right, um, Harrison Ford, Han Solo in the Star Wars saga, also played a swashbuckling hero in another series of films, beginning with Raiders of the Lost Ark. Name the character. Do you know what? I've just gone completely blank on this. I should know this. Hang on a second. This is embarrassing. He wasn't Popeye. Um, he wasn't Tarzan's sister. If 
can you imagine you Robert Williams as Popeye in Raiders of the Lost Ark playing that title character? Do you know what? This is embarrassing. I can't remember the name of the character. Um, Goldfish Man. <laughs> is that your final answer? Yeah, because I can't remember. When you tell me, I'm going to go, of course it is. I'm so disappointed. I, I forgot were... Luke Skywalker. Luke Lumin. <laughs> Luke Puppy Walker. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bugging me. What's he called? Edward Skitterpants. That's a good name, but it's not the right answer. Um, Pass it. Johnny Depp Patty Cake. Um, no, go on, give up. Forgotten. MJ? It was Dr. Indiana Jones. Of course it is. And he even gave the full name. I like it. Right. I would have got the doctor bit. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got Popeye as the hero of Raiders of the Dark in my head. Uh, <laughs> I, about, know, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd watch that as well. Yeah, no, no, I'd, I'd definitely watch that. I'd watch the whole series. Um, well, instead of Luke po po Tony, what yeah. about instead of Luke Puppy Walker, Luke Popeye Walker? That would even be better, walking around with Popeye. You know, take, sort of take him out for the day and lead him around the shops like Rain Man sort of thing. Mac, I await, I await the poem. Well, yeah, yeah it'd, be, it'd be going really well till you got near the spinach counter. And then it could go completely Very tits up. Very distracted, yeah. Um, MJ, who directed Raiders of the Lost Ark? Oh, uh... Go on, go blank. <laughs> Steven Spielberg. It was Steven Spielberg. But, but it's, because, it's because it's a George Lucas production. I was like, oh, hang on. Yeah. Was it, did George step in? No, he didn't. He didn't. It was, it was, no. it was Spielberg or... No, not with Spielberg. We went stepped in with Spielberg. Right. So that's all the questions answered. There we go. MJ. MJ wins 4-2. Oh, well. I'm, I'm quite actually glad I got two. Oh, well done, Mike. Well done. Right. I've never won anything in my life, so, I mean... <laughs> Okay. This, is, this, is a good, this is a good day. Oh, I didn't win this. This is uh, this this has cost me a great deal. <laughs> the, the last ever show. <laughs> a cracking, a cracking accomplishment. Um, have you got any facts, guys, that you that you can throw at us, or shall I just give you some? I have. Go on, Mac. The film um, Shawshank Redemption was quite a blockbuster film. It was massive. I remember sitting the pictures for ages. It lasted for two hours, 40 minutes, but the actual book of the Shawshank Redemption was only 157 pages. Was it really? It's a short story, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. I think it was a novella, wasn't it? A Stephen King yeah. novella. Rita Hayworth and the, and the Four Seasons, I think it was. And it was called Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. It's called The Four Seasons. In a, yeah, in a book of four so, seasons. So is my fact true or false? That's true, yeah. That's true. Do you think my fact's true, yeah? Yes. MJ? Both of you. I think uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's true. Uh, it's not, actually, because I told a little bit of a lie. Um, the film actually runs for two hours, 22 minutes, <laughs> and the book was only 106 pages. <laughs> what? Look at that with a rugby tackle. Oh, my goodness. I'll give, you, I'll give you, like, a star for that, Mac. I'll give you a little star. Hoodwinking the film buffs when I know nothing about films. It's good because you've told it so well. In fact, you told that lie so well, I'm not sure I can ever trust you again. <laughs> I don't trust myself, to be honest with you. <laughs> MJ, any facts? Uh, Harrison Ford was originally considered for the role of Connor McLeod, the Highlander, before... Frenchman Christophe Christopher Lambert, Lambert Christophe Lambert, yeah. true or false? I'd go false on that. I'm saying true. It's false. It was actually Kurt Russell who was considered. Was it really? Yeah, amazing, huh? Yeah. See, and again, you can't imagine anybody but Christophe Lambert in that. Place. I know, I know. Yeah, they went to Kurt Russell first, and he turned it down to do the classic uh, actioner, Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, well, again, can't imagine anybody else in that. Exactly. I have another one as well. I have another one on, on that theme. Um, the role of Rocky Balboa uh, was turned down by Joey Peshke. <laughs> <laughs> I know they want to... Yeah. 
They wanted Ryan O'Neill, didn't they? Yeah. That's what they wanted originally. Yeah. Ryan O'Neill and Burt Reynolds, I think, was put forward, but Stallone said, no, it's only going to be him. You don't, if you don't cast me, you don't make the film. Um, that's true. Okay, look, I've got a couple of facts, quick facts from George. Okay. The line, you're going to need a bigger boat, which is probably most fam one of the most famous lines in film history, you're going to need a bigger boat, was ad-libbed. True or false? Mm. I'm going to say true. I would say true too. Yeah, apparently it's true, yeah. Roy Scheider ad-libbed it. Ad it quite a few times in the film, just to get it in there, but yeah, it was ad-libbed. Um, Bruce was the, the name they gave to the shark because it kept fucking up, so they gave it a name. Um, Bruce, the shark, was named after Steven Spielberg's hairdresser. True or false? Ooh. False. That's false. That's not true. I don't know. It seems so random that it could possibly be. I wonder if Steven Spielberg's uh, hairdresser was a bit uh, original and innovative and didn't cut people's hair with scissors, but he had razor sharp teeth with which he nibbled people's fringes into the fashion of the day. Uh, so I'm going to go for true. It's I mean, I've seen Steven B Spielberg's hair from back then. <laughs> I, I would definitely say that's a lie. <laughs> uh, he named his lawyer. Oh. He named the shark after his lawyer. Well, you know, a vicious man-eating machine monster. <laughs> you know, that, uh, that lines, up, like, lines up completely. And just one last fact, and this is true. The budget, and I'll tell you what, have a guess at the budget of the original Jaws. And you've got to remember, 45, 45, well. 45 pence. 45 pence. You know what, in new money, who knows, right? <laughs> was it, it was post-decimal currency, yeah, so it wasn't for and safety. In uh, so in dollars, how much do you reckon the budget was? I think oh. it was 2.3 million, I think. Mac? Uh, I'd, say, I'd say about 2.4 million. <laughs> <laughs> I just got prices righted there, didn't I? I know I did. <laughs> You got that? The budget was $9 million. No! So I was closest. <laughs> yeah, he was closest. But the gross, $470 million. $470.7 million was the gross, the total gross. Ludicrous. Wow. So we need to get a plastic bag, draw teeth on it, and make a film. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we need to do. Um, anyway, look, I wanted to keep this short. So I'm going to end it here. Uh, Mac, thank you very much for playing, but you've been facked off by the winner, MJ Dixon. Well done, MJ. You won. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mac. Sorry. Tony. Yes. Tony, can I leave you with one more interesting fact, the Joey Pesky fact? One. Do you know the kids in Scooby-Doo? Do you know that they were his kids? Because <laughs> at the end of it, he used to say, I would have got away with it if it weren't for you Pesky kids. There you go. Mike McFadden. That's Thank a you. great joke. <laughs> that's, that's really good. Let's <laughs> end on. Um, <laughs> right. MJ, thanks very much. Mac, thank you very much. Um, Cheers. Uh, hopefully somebody's been watching. And who knows? Goodbye, everybody. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>